Uh, well, first of all, welcome to Titan Medical Center presents Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I'm your host, Joe Piataro, and I published this magazine here. And we got the, the new one is, is, is already getting out to the, the subscribers. She graduated. She got a master's. And, uh, and uh, uh, we went out to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. If any of you are familiar with that type of place. I wanted a great celebration because it was her birthday as well as her graduation day after five years of college. So now she is going to look for a job as a teacher. I'm very proud of my daughter. She's going to be a teacher and her dad talks, says, tells dick jokes on fucking Instagram to a bunch of fucking steroid fucking stack bodybuilders. <laughs> Livia, hey at me. <laughs> How you smelling today, Livia's bleach turd cutter? Does the bleach change the odor after the bleach is washed off, of course? I mean, not at that moment. Like, does it always smell like a pool? I mean, or does it have that nice ass smell to it? <laughs> so when you take Titan, you get horny and you want to smell a real ass, not a bleached ass. Sean will repeat the O. I don't know, and I'm not going to say because he looked bad at the fucking, the, you know, the, 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 the mini Olympia, the Pittsburgh uh, let's all pose for the fucking Prez, uh, you know, guest posing. I don't think that really matters. Um, uh, Sean Roden is the type of guy that can fucking get in shape in time. Um, I still don't think that he should have looked that bad off season, but you know, he's probably enjoying himself. He won the Olympia. <laughs> probably partying and eating shit. Um... But I don't think he's going to repeat. I, I think, he, he, to me, he's kind of like one of those guys that look great. And I, and I think they're going to just maybe go for some... I don't know if they want him to repeat. Because he's like, he's so low-keyed, you know? Even though he's liked, he's not hated, like, fill the gift. Yeah. Remember how off Yates would be in UFC's season bloat lord, bloat lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not worried about that. I just, I... And it doesn't always mean he's going to look you know, good enough to win, and will he win? Do they want somebody like Roly Winkler, who's a little more animated? Do they want somebody like William Bonac, who's, we're still not kind of quite sure of, you know, what his whole popularity type of thing is. Um, there really is no wow guy out there right now. I'm sorry to say it, you know? Jay Cutler was a low-key guy, but he had a great following because he was really good with the fans. And a lot of these guys, they don't really get to see their fucking fans a lot. You know, they just don't. I want to go to Vietnam. I just can't fit in the fucking tunnels of Chu Chi. I wanted to go through the tunnels. <laughs> My nose would... <laughs> that would be a good meme. You see me trying to get into the tunnels of Chu Chi in fucking Vietnam. And my nose is stuck at an hole. <laughs> Listen, if you just got swept by the Mets in a four-game set, you are playing like shit because the Mets went into that series. Really, I mean, like, Mickey was fucking filling out $15 an hour fucking Wendy's fucking applications. Oh, did you guys see um, the guy, the Russian 500-pound squat with both of his legs snapping? It's fucking, it's more gross than Jay's fucking video. And Jay's video is bad. <laughs> Which is better, Dark Side of the Moon or Wish You Were Here? Um, I'm going to go Dark Side, but Wish You Were Here is right up there. But my favorite is Animals, believe it or not. Animals is my favorite uh, Floyd album. And I do enjoy A Saucer Full of Secrets right up there. <laughs> but we were walking, and there's a guy laying there on the floor, leaning up against the thing with a sign, Help Me Please, you know, Poor or whatever. And he had an iPhone and a plug now, I don't know if it was plugged into one of those uh, external things or he somehow had it snaked uh, into some plug by this store or whatever, but it was closed and he was like in the voya with his, you know, he had like a bag and, and like, you know, a sleeping bag. I'm like, he's got an iPhone and he's young and he doesn't look like his fucking legs are fucking broken to me. He was moving them around and getting comfortable. He should have fucking got up and got a job. And I'm like, I wouldn't give him a fucking nickel if I fucking found one in the street would come on it. Uh, realistically speaking, no jokes. How long do you think the longest clit due to gear was? Oh, I don't know. Have they ever, like, in those videos, ever measured them with, like, a tape measure just to see? Because some of them are fucking impressive. Like, Denise's is very... I mean, it actually has a fucking circumcised fucking penis head. Like, you know how it looks? The, the, the drugs have made that clitoris so, like, enhanced. But uh, they, those, they definitely, uh, I like them. I don't know. 
of shit. Do you believe Tren actually works? Yes, it works too good sometimes because it's very harsh on your body. I think taking Tren, if you're not like really trying to like be a competitor for like a, a real competitor, not just the for the fuck of it, it's too, it it's too fucked up. It, it's you don't need it if you're just going to the beach, you know, like Mr. Moore, like Greg always says. Testosterone and Decker are fine. You don't need the trend. Is, it beats the fucking balls out of your body, man. I remember I had a fucking blood test result when I was on trend, and my doctor was like, what the fuck? That, that wasn't even my, my blood test problem. This was before that. He was just like, well, I, I, I know why. It's okay. Next one will be fine. Don't worry. He's like, well, what, uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> Trend seems to be risky. Not even the cough part. I'm talking about just what it does after it's in there, after you stop coughing. Jay swears by it. A lot of people do. This is just my personal opinion. Uh, I think trend is too harsh. I don't think anybody that's not a serious competitor needs it. I mean, you can get big with other shit, you know? I totally, I love test. At Titan Medical Center, we are here to make you feel better, look better, and perform better. We're here to get you to your optimal levels in the most natural way possible. We are a boutique style clinic without the boutique style costs. All medications are monitored and prescribed by a physician. Let us help you get the results you've been wanting. Come to Titan Medical Center for the most cutting edge therapies and the most current information on how to take the most natural approach to your health.